From the television news center of the South, here's today's Florida news picture. Colonel Wolfson, I guarantee you, saw the future of daily and nightly editorials and broadcast news, the future in Ralph Rennick. He recruited the best people in the business to execute this vision. And of course, Ralph Rennick became iconic. Police tonight are pushing a three-state search for two desperate criminals who escaped from Dade County's jail last night. The word that most people use when they talk about Ralph Rennick is pioneer, because he invented television news. Here at the Air Force Missile Test Center at Cape Canaveral, the Air Force is preparing to launch its second attempt to send a rocket to the moon. Make no mistake about it, he built television in South Florida. Movie Chevrolet presents Ralph Rennick and the 11 o'clock news. The Senate tonight has passed the right to vote measure in the civil rights bill. Young, good looking, an unbelievable broadcasting deep voice and drew the attention straight from you. Soviet boss Khrushchev gets the cold shoulder today. Ralph Rennick was God, he was the voice of God. Good evening. They has to have this theme. Ba, ba, bum, 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 bum. The Ralph Rennick Report. The Timphony, boom, boom, boom. It was a big deal. I mean, at one point, Channel 4, WTVJ, had higher ratings than every other station combined in the market because Ralph Rennick was God. You know, he was very imposing. I mean, he was like six foot four. And when he walked into the newsroom, conversation kind of stopped. Ralph Rennick was super intimidating. And he was scary, you know. You talk to Ralph, and you say, hi, Ralph, you go, oh, how, how are you, you know, and you kind of shake all over. <laughs> he was very demanding and um, a very, very good mentor and a terrific uh, newscaster, kind of the gold standard for news directors and anchor people. Ralph Rennick at the time, who was for the next nearly 36 years, the anchor and news director at WTVJ was the first uh, at any station in the country to go on with a nightly editorial. No endorsement would be given any candidate for political office. Ralph, speaking for management, I think that's the proudest thing we have done since we've had WTVJ. Well, I believe that began in 1957 and that continued until his departure in 1985. I believe his nightly editorials brought my father and the community closer together. And I think we've been able to accomplish a lot of good for our community with your daily editorials. Colonel Wolfson and Ralph were probably like a father and son bonding. Um, they were always together, always talking about the city, the community, how to make Miami, Dade County, a better place to live, work, and play. And Ralph was his appearance in the community. And he always wanted to make sure that the community saw us through Ralph. And he loved Rennick, and if you said anything negative, you were in deep trouble with Mr. Wolfson. It's one of those truths that are inevitable that all men are created equal. He was the, the first American journalist to interview Fidel Castro. What is the relationship between you and Mr. Arudia today? Who is making the decisions for Cuba? Of course, of course, but for Rudy. You can be sure I am not a strong man at all, and I don't want to be. He was a tough boss. He drove his employees, but no less than he drove himself. I mean, we were pushed to be the best. And if we weren't the best, in those days, there were consequences. I remember my first story where I got to sit on the set with him, and I threw back to him, back to you, Ralph, and he just went, yeah, I don't even think he said my name. Or maybe he, at one point, he might have said, Catherine, you know, he, he, he was a little stuffy. As a man, he was um, in the station as news director, uh, aloof. You couldn't always talk to him like, you know, two guys just talking. Once he left this station, once he walked out the doors, he was a different person. He had a very dry sense of humor. And if you knew him, he would come out and mess with you and people would get intimidated, but he was actually really kidding. I used to try to make him laugh, and I would do some of the talent shows for the holiday parties, and Rennick, the hoo, 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 he had this really funny laugh. Over the course of his career, Ralph interviewed seven United States presidents. It was never totally clear who was granting whom an audience. <laughs>
he went to Russia one time and he bought this big fur Russian cap and he came out wearing this big furry cap, this stern look and just <laughs> walked around the newsroom just to try to get people's reaction. You know, <laughs> people, they don't know whether to laugh at him or, you know, take him serious. Los Angeles is a city so big that I suppose World War II could be restaged within its borders and would go unnoticed by some. Just some neighbors going by, never, didn't even know him. And it, the guy and his wife, the guy goes, may the good news be yours. It keeps riding by. That legacy lives on, and it probably will for a long time. I had such an enormous amount of respect for him and what he did here at this station and how he really created a news division and how this station took that leap to bring the news to a community that had never really seen it before on black and white TV. I was born and raised in Miami, Florida, and my parents watched Ralph Rennick on the news every evening. Little did I know when I was a little kid watching Ralph Rennick that I would be sitting in his chair so many years later. People are always, always telling me, you know, about my father, they knew my father, how much they admire my father, and I'm constantly thanking them, you know, for remembering, because a, a lot of young people don't even know who he is now. It is my decision effective tonight to step down as vice president and news director of WTVJ and also relinquish my duties as newscaster editorialist on this program. I don't think there's ever been a figure in South Florida for sure, probably not many in the whole country, that had the command, that had the respect, that had the gravitas of Ralph Rennick. Ralph Rennick was the man. I think he's probably looking down the fact that you know, he has created a legacy and it's lasted this long. I, I, I think he'd be, or is, very happy. Good night and may the good news be yours. Hi, I'm Shelly. Thank you for checking out our NBC6 South Florida YouTube channel. You want more videos like the kind you just watched? Click right here on the subscribe button below. Get the latest stories, interviews, caught on camera, and more. Digital exclusives as well. All for you. Subscribe now.